Welcome. This is a fast-paced power yoga style flow today. So if you'd like, you can pause the video and take a moment to pick a positive statement or intention for class. When you're ready to go, join in and begin finding a nice deep breath. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, tucking the chin. Let's take two more. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now doing some nice circles leading with the heart. We're going to do three each direction. Warming up the shoulders, continuing to breathe nice and deep. And using those hands, pressing or pulling on the knees to really help get a nice stretch all the way around. Now making our way up to standing, we're going to do three sun salutation A and three of the B. Inhale, fingers up, exhale forward fold, inhale lengthen. Exhale, step back, Chaturanga push-up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking three to five deep breaths here. With every inhale, lengthening up through the tailbone. With the exhale, pressing down through the pads of the fingers. Pressing down through the heels. Pressing those heels towards your mat. Inhale, step or hop forward, half lift. Exhale, fold all the air out. Inhale, drink in that breath. Exhale. And inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, lengthen back and breathe these downward dogs to catch your breath if you need because we're moving a little bit faster. And inhale, step or jump forward, lengthen out, exhale, fold all the air out. Inhale, inhale drink in the breath all the way up, exhale, samastitihi. Inhale, lengthen, Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, lengthen back. Slowing down that breath. Inhale, step or hop forward, lengthen, exhale, fold, inhale, inhale all the way up, exhale, samastitihi, transitioning now to sun salutation B, inhale, chair pose, exhale, forward fold, inhale, half lift, Exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot steps forward, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga push up. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. And left foot comes through on the next inhale, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, lengthen back. And breathe, catch your breath. Inhale, step or jump forward, half lift, exhale, fold all the air out. Inhale, sit back into chair pose, squeezing the legs together, exhale, release. We've got 
two more. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift and lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, lengthen back. Inhale, right foot forward, warrior one. Really reaching and pressing through the feet. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, lengthen back. Inhale, left foot, lengthen up. Exhale, chaturanga. Strong arms. Lengthening forward and lengthening back. Deepening the breath here. Even though we're holding, those fingers and toes are still pressing, heels are still pressing, tailbone's still lengthening up with every breath. Inhale, step or jump forward. Half lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold all the air out. Inhale, drink in that breath, chair pose. Exhale, samasthiti. All right, last one, last sun salutation. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen that fold out. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, lengthen back. Inhale, right foot comes forward. Lengthening up, strong core. Exhale, chaturanga, squeezing those elbows in by the sides. Lengthen forward, lengthen back. Inhale, left foot. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. And breathe. Inhale, step or jump forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold all the air out. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, Samastitihi. So good, you guys. Transitioning now. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, fold, grabbing the big toes. Remember, you can bend your knees as much as you need to protect that lower back. And I'm pulling on my toes, lengthening back through my tailbone, pulling on the toes, pressing through the feet. That belly is tucked up and in to protect the lower back. Knees are bent as much as they need to be. Inhale, look up. Exhale, maybe slide the hands under the feet. Exhale, fold a little bit deeper and breathe. As you inhale, you're lengthening. As you exhale, deepening, sinking into the pose. It's three to five breaths in every pose from here. Inhale, come up halfway, grab your waist. Exhale, stay. Inhale, all the way up. Stepping out now for triangle pose, trikonasana. Exhale to fold. You can grab that big toe, place the hand on the ground, or grab anywhere above or below the knee. Shifting your gaze up to those upturned fingertips. Nice long line, stacking one shoulder right above the other. Inhale up. Exhale, switch the feet opposite direction and fold. Finding that nice length or lengthening through the back of the neck, lengthening by stacking the shoulders as we reach arms away from each other and breathe. Inhale all the way up. Exhale. Swiveling to the front. Finding the twist. Revolve triangle pose. Still trying to stack the shoulders. 
you stack the shoulders, usually that arm ends up more or less in the right place. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, adjusting those toes to the other direction, scrying the hips forward and twisting to the other side. And breathe. Always thinking about creating length forward in our twists. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, release. Now finding a nice lunge, lengthening that arm over. Other arm can come down to the ground or arm can be pressing into the top of the thigh. Nice long line from the base of your foot all the way out through those fingertips. And all the way up, switching the feet around, other side. And reach. And breathe all the way up. Bring hands to heart center, taking the twist now. Or you can come all the way down if you want and lengthen, so several options. Palms can be pressed into each other, or one palm can be on the mat, the other reaching out. Pick the stretch that feels better for you today. All the way up. Exhale, swivel the feet around to the other side. Taking the twist with the arms, staying here, or perhaps bringing the hands down. Nice long line from the base of the foot out through those outstretched fingertips and breathe inhale all the way up hands on the waist step the feet out wide exhale to fold lengthening that head towards your mat hands stay on the waist broadening through the shoulders through the collarbones Reaching that head towards your mat and breathe. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to the T. And finding a nice warrior two pose, lift the palms and place them down. If you'd like to feel that nice engagement in the shoulders. Strong core here, strong leg. And exhale, swimming that front arm under, other arm goes behind. Or op option here to take this into Bird of Paradise, so you can stay here. You can walk that other foot in. So we shift the weight and lift, working on straightening that leg once you've come all the way up. And I'm really engaging through my back and shoulders here. I don't want to just be pulling on that shoulder socket. So make sure your muscles are supporting you. Exhale all the way down. Let that hand come down to the ground to support you. All the way up. Nice. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Starting with a nice warrior pose. Arms right above the legs. Breathe. Ducking that core in. Exhale, fold. That closest arm is going to swim right around and under the thigh. The other arm is going to come around behind and reach for the bind. Work the other leg in. Shift the weight to the other leg and maybe lift. Once you've lifted, the next challenge is working on straightening that leg. Maybe even pointing or flexing the toe if you'd like. It's all about the journey. Exhale all the way down, release the bind, press that hand, find some stability back up to warrior two. And 
walking all the way back up to the top of your mat inhale reach the hands out and around nice shoulder stretch here clasping in the back looking up just enough to feel those abs engage We're still broadening through the shoulders here exhale to fold finding a nice arm stretch in the back and breathe fingers are still interlaced Imagine a string pulling on those fingers, lifting you all the way back up. And now hands can come behind in prayer pose. Or knuckles can come together. Or you, there's also a fun bind we can take here that we haven't done yet. So option to take that variation. Or you can reach the arms around and grabbing around under that thigh this is a great little twist it's a fun bind option and breathe all the way out swiveling to the other side swim the arms around Take prayer pose behind your back or option to take that bind closest arm to the closest leg reaching around that leg maybe grabbing hands behind and breathe All the way out, release. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step or hop back, chaturanga. Inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, lengthen back. Do a nice jump forward, sitting on the backs of the arms, crossing the feet, if you'd like. You can hold this for a breath or two and when we come out of this we're going to try and straighten the legs and then shifting around maybe finding crane pose if you can do it all in one swift motion that's great if not find crane or crow and then jumping the feet back chaturanga inhale urdhva mukha Exhale, Adho Mukha, Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, jump, sliding the feet through. And Janushasana here, so bringing your foot in, lengthening over the other leg. And breathe. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Switching sides. Bent leg, the foot is pressing into the straight leg, pressing into that inner thigh as we fold. And inhale, exhale, release. Take a vinyasa, pull the legs in, press, walk or jump the feet back, chaturanga, inhale, urdhva mukha, exhale, adho mukha, jump or step the feet through, and now bringing the legs up for boat pose, knees can be bent, legs squeezing together, a little bit harder, legs can be straight. We're going to do several of these, so be mindful of that. Nice long spine, the core is fully engaged. 
Exhale, pull the legs in, press and lift the sit bones. It just relieves the lower back. And going right back up into Navasana, boat pose. And breathe, squeezing those legs together, lengthening back through the spine. And pulling the legs in, press and lift. And lift the feet and the tailbone if you can, or just the tailbone, that's fine. <laughs> And coming all the way back and breathe. So good, you got this. This pose works everything in the body. It's a great one. Press and lift. Exhale, so good. Coming back to center, go ahead and take some modified cat cows. Rounding and opening through the chest with every breath. And now transitioning. Jumping or stepping those feet back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step, slide or jump those feet through. And exhale all the way back onto our backs. Inhale, pressing up into bridge. This first one on our shoulders, we're just testing out to see how our back is feeling. Remembering to keep those knees Parallel, keep the knees from splaying out, keep the toes facing forward, and breathe. You can take the rest on shoulder bridge, or if you would like, you're welcome to bring the hands up and back, do a full bridge for this next one. Only do this if you feel like you're warm enough, okay? Inhale all the way up. Whichever version you chose, being very mindful of the back, only staying up as long as feels right for you. Yeah, exhale, coming down to the top of the head. And inhale, right back up. Being very mindful of that lower back, we don't want all of the curve to be in the lower back. So make sure your arms and legs are helping support your back. Exhale, tuck the chin, lower all the way down. Hug the knees into the chest, take a few rocks side to side. Let that back relax. And rocking all the way up. Nice forward fold, hugging under the knees. This can feel nice for the lower back, nice counter pose. Let the back relax. And all the way back up. Take a few nice deep breaths here. And rolling back onto our back one more time. Legs coming all the way up, finding shoulder stand, legs squeezing together. I'm working on stacking the hips above the shoulders. My hands are supporting that lower back. My shoulders are pressing firmly, protecting my neck. And then letting those feet fall back behind you for plow pose. The arms can stretch out behind you as well, if you would like, or they can stay on your lower back and breathe. Exhale, rolling all the way down. Hug your knees into your chest, rocking side to side. And rolling all the way up. Let's take a, a vinyasa here. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And let's come down to dolphin pose. Come down to the forearms. Let's just stretch out in preparation for a headstand. And I'm just gonna show you guys my funny little blooper here to give you some time to try headstand. So you'll see me trying here 
a few times for a headstand. This first one, I went up too fast, so I fell back into a back bend, which was fine. But you want to make sure you take the time to go up nice and slow. Also, my elbows are always a little too far apart, so make sure you keep those elbows close together. And make a nice triangle with elbows close. And then the pinkies as the point of that triangle, that'll help. So pressing through the arms, you're walking those feet in. The idea is to first stack the hips right above the shoulders and then straighten the legs once you're ready. Now I'm holding this headstand for about 10 breaths. You hold your headstand for as long as you'd like. Remember, you can use a wall behind you if you'd like for security. And breathe. With every breath, you're thinking of squeezing the legs together, a nice strong core, strong arms. The more you engage that core and the legs, the easier it will be to stay up longer and to be steady. Exhale all the way down. Take a nice child's pose here. And breathe. Inhale, come all the way back up. done with our practice. Let's go ahead and take half lotus. Bring one leg over, feeling that nice stretch, in the hip joint of that top leg, and breathe. Just finding our breath here, slowing the breath down. We've sent so much energy out through our nice long stretches. Now we're pulling it back in. Go ahead and switch to the other side and breathe. With every inhale, imagine pulling that energy, that focus and attention back inward, filling up with energy for whatever you need to get done today. Exhale, release. And rolling all the way down onto our backs. Just a few more postures here, bringing that right leg in. You can grab the toe, option to use a strap or towel to grab that foot if you need. Inhaling, nose towards the knee, other hand is pressing on top of that straight leg to keep the thigh from popping up when we go out to the side, looking the opposite direction of the hand and toe. Nice stretch here. And all the way back up, inhale, nose towards knee. And other side, bringing the leg up, nose towards knee on the other side, lengthen. And exhale, releasing that leg out to the side, looking the opposite direction. Again, that other hand is pressing on top of the straight leg to keep it from popping up. And breathe. All the way back to center. Inhale, nose to knee. Exhale, release. All the way down. And pulling the knees in now, taking a few nice rocks side to side. Taking a gentle twist, knees over to one side, other arm stretches out long. Looking at that, those outstretched fingers. Other hand can come on top of the knees to help deepen the twist. We're gonna take a few deep breaths here. And then maybe stretching out that bottom leg straight and seeing if you can stretch even a little bit deeper into this twist with the top leg bent, the bottom leg straight. And breathe. And pulling the knees back to center, same thing on the other side. 
starting with both legs bent, looking out of the opposite shoulder. Other hand can be on top of the knees, helping you in your twist. And straightening out that bottom leg, seeing if you can sink a little bit deeper into the twist. Noticing how this changes it for your back. And breathe. And all the way back to center, hug those knees in, rocking back and forth, gentle back massage here. And whenever you're ready, stretching arms and legs out. You can end in supine butterfly or stretching all the way out for Shavasana. The exercise portion of our video is now complete, but you are encouraged to stay here in Shavasana at least a few more minutes, enjoying this nice rest. Thank you everyone. Namaste.